seconds. Definitely fair to say Lewis is the more experienced combat athlete here. Um, unless there's something about Ross, I don't know. Uh, but I'm still interested to see how this fight goes. One of the best referees in the country coming up just now. Probably, I would say, the most experienced Scottish um, in-cage official, John Jameson, um, looking after the action tonight. So um, excited to see how this goes. He'll be on top of the action, making sure no crazy stuff happens. Although I do like a bit of crazy stuff myself. Right, it's about, it's about to get underway. We touch of the gloves. Nice body kick straight up there from Ross. Nice low kick. You can tell the difference in styles already. Lewis a bit more mobile. But he's used to doing MMA, he's used to wrestling, he's just having to think about a lot more different tools. Oh, little slip. Ah, he went to take his back there. <laughs> went to take his back, forgot he's not in an MMA fight. Nice two touch, um, what you call it, switch kick there. It was really nice from Ross. But you can tell Ross comes from a more Muay Thai background, a bit more of that, that solid stance, light front foot. You can tell by the way he holds his guard as well. Some nice shots here from Ross. I like how he's mixing in those low kicks as well. Lewis staying nice and mobile. But he needs to make sure he starts checking these kicks. Because if he doesn't, another two-touch kick there again. Lewis is down. Doesn't matter. Oh, he's complaining about the back of the head there. Oh, big low kick there from Ross. I think we can definitely see as this is, Lewis is a, a teenager still, this is, you can see the physical difference between the two of these guys, huge low kick. Ross is liking that left eye, I'd like to see a bit more activity for Lewis here. He's getting hit with some big shots here. Now Ross needs to make sure not blow himself out, even though these are two minute rounds, which isn't exactly huge. If you imagine sprinting for two minutes, you're going to blow yourself out really fast. Some nice red welts on the, the body of um, Lewis at the moment. Nice front kick from Lewis there. That low kick's really nice, but Lewis not far off with that kind of pull return left. Lewis switching stances a lot. I don't know if that's maybe his legs a bit sore, or if he's doing that because that's part of his game plan at all. Ross slowing down a little bit, but it's the end of the round coming up now, so plenty of time to recoup and get ready. Very good first round. I think for me, that was an extremely clear round. To, um, to Ross McKenzie there, um, for sure. I've always wished that we could get ourselves a wee corner cam here at EOC, just to tune in on what the coaches are actually saying to the respective fighters. I love that, I don't know if anyone else is the same. I just love being able to listen in to um, the, the coach and the getting ringside and how people approach different situations. Especially if you look at one like this where you know Lewis has had a, a little bit of a barrage set against him in this first round. But again, this is fighting. One moment can change a full fight um, very, very, very quickly. Um, we've seen that with, for example, Chael Sun and Anderson Silva, you know, the first fight. Chael absolutely cakewalking Anderson then to get caught in a triangle in the last minute. So you can never count out anybody who is inside the cage and inside the ring. There's always a chance. Both guys shaking their feet off here. So when you have your first kind of kickboxing fight, you're going to realise that your feet are not made of steel. Very different without the shin guards. Lewis very mobile start of this round. I think he's maybe been told that, just to, to try and kind of circle it a little bit more. Nice low kick return from Ross there. Oh, there's some real bad blood bruising, actually, on the legs of Lewis. He needs to either start checking or have some type of plan for those low kicks. You can only weather them for so long. Another nice wee front kick from Lewis there. Still mobile on the legs. That's good. Start build up of the lactic acid and it'll probably keep him from, from bruising too hard. Nice, nice left straight there. Really nice left straight. 
Oh, nice from Lister. I will absolutely hate to be these guys when the adrenaline wears off and they realise how sore the toes are once this fight is done. This round slightly more even than the last. I, I wouldn't look at Ross and say he looks particularly tired, but he's definitely dropped the pace slightly. Especially with this being his first, um, you know, contest here, his first time fighting. Um, it's easy to go out and just go mad in the first round. But I imagine he's probably had some advice from Callum and Stuart in the corner, just saying to take his time, pick his shots and whatnot. Nice inside low there again. And a nice check from Ross there. Far more even round this time. I'm still going to say, um, if, if I was scoring this fight, it's still going to Ross for me. But um, Lewis certainly looked a lot better this round. Lewis seems to think he's won that round. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with that personally. He, look, he looked a lot better. But um, if I was if I was Lewis's corner, I wouldn't be looking for a decision here. I'd be telling him he needs to go out and get this fight finished. Um, and if I was Callum and uh, Stuart Graham, I might be saying to Ross to, to put the foot down here and um, actually go out and, and look for this, this finish here. about to get ready for our third and final two minute round here in our K1 contest. If you're just tuning in with us, this is Ross McKenzie versus Lewis McKenzie and uh, it's been an absolutely fantastic fight so ready to see. Lewis seeming pretty confident here. His, the bruising on his legs is really bad. Really, really bad. And to be fair, I know people who would have been stopped by bruising like that, so. Oh, nice return shot there from Lewis. Oh, this is a bit more of a, a Barney now, that's what I like watching. Sometimes fighting is at its best when people just buckle down and just start smacking each other. Pace slowed down slightly here. Both guys getting that little burst of adrenaline for the start of the last round. Oh, nice left hook there from Ross. Lewis has got a, a head made of steel, I think. Oh, nice shot to the body. Lewis steps in with that side kick. Is that low kick checked again? Nice body kick again. The corner of Ross telling him, imploring him to come forward. Nice left there from, from Lewis. The shame that this is a great third round. That is a horrible low kick. Nice shot from Lewis there. This is a good fight. This is a really good fight. I am enjoying this. Nice low kick there. Oh, that landed, I would say that landed pretty much on the neck maybe. And we are done. Now, I'm not scoring the fight. I'm just here to talk about them. But I'm gonna say that I think that is Ross's win. Lewis currently doing some wrestling on the floor, but I don't think he's won that fight personally, but that's just me.